Today we're going to show you how to remove a battery from a Mercedes C350E hybrid plug-in. This is a so-called AGM battery. These are prone to failure, usually after two to two and a half years. This car is two and a half years old. The battery has failed and we're going to show you how to remove it but not the way Mercedes wants you to because if you do that you have to also remove the hybrid pack which is a lot of work it is a two-man job because also as you can see it's a large battery it's 26.1 kilograms and there is no way you can do this on your own unless you do it the official Mercedes-Benz way which means removing the hybrid pack or at least moving the hybrid pack out of the way so the official way to do this is remove this it's a Torx head bolt this a Torx head bolt this and this if you remove these two, you can lift this plate back, it will expose the hybrid battery. But you cannot remove the hybrid battery without removing also the side covers. It's, so you need to remove this bolt, this bolt and totally remove the side covers then you can reach the hybrid battery which you will have to lift up slide it backwards this is a lot of work there is an easier way to do this as we already described but you need two persons I'll show you you don't need to remove anything you lift up the rear Below that, you'll find a tray. It's just a plastic cover. It has clips here, here, and here. You remove the clips. For now, I'll just slide it backwards and don't remove it because it will give you enough vision to see what I mean. This is the battery we want to replace. It's an AGM battery, and as said before, these are prone to failure after two years. Very expensive, but that's the way it is. You remove these two bolts, size, uh, um, wrench size number 10. You remove these bolts, shift this backwards. This is part of the cooling for the hybrid battery. Watch out. It's all plastic, it, it breaks relatively easy. After this is out of the way, you see here on the side of the battery a little hose. Just clip that hose out of the battery. It's for condensation water, it goes down through the bottom of the car and then onto the ground. You'll need to reinstall that later just move it out of the way then you remove the negative pole of the battery size socket size number 10 10 millimeters again there's a little here is a little plug a little plug with an extra safety thing on it you need to remove that plug because that wire goes from here from the negative all the way to the positive which is over there you can hardly see it once you have done that move that wire out of the way so move that black cable all the way back towards the fuse box Um, then you remove this bolt. It's 
socket size number 13 which will remove the clamp now the battery can be moved but you need a lot of force you need two hands to slide the battery into this corner right over here remember you need somebody else to pull back the hoses otherwise it will not work you need a second person once you wiggled the battery free slowly move it into this corner so you have it out of the place it's standing now and it's like a um, quarter turn towards here then that's why you need two persons one is holding back to the hoses the cooling hoses and the cooling pump and the other one is lifting up the battery the battery will come up here there is just enough room but the plus side of the battery is still attached to the car that's again why you need two persons because one person has to lift up the battery lift it up and hold the hoses out of the way otherwise it will not work the other person has to remove the cover from the plus side of the battery and then the plus terminal once you have the so the battery is like almost up here and then you can just release the plus side the plus cable once that's done and you have to really watch out that you don't touch the plus on any of the metal parts that's why again you need two persons this is a very heavy battery the battery can be lift out then you take the new battery put it in the same way first you have it hanging here so you can adjust attach the plus side again then once that's completely installed including the plastic cover very important the plastic cover because as you can see here there is minimal room between the metal and the battery once that's in you lower the battery it is again somebody is holding back these hoses all the way up here so you can sort of slide in the battery then you slide it back into the rail then you can reattach this one reattach the mine minus pole side don't forget to reattach and secure that small plug after it's all reattached you reinstall the water pipes and the water cooling these two bolts and you're finished it saves you about three to four hours if you do it this way but you need two persons that's the only drawback